Hello and welcome along to this video where we're going to be talking to you about Microsoft Teams and SharePoint document libraries. So welcome along to this video. You are still on the video for learning about Microsoft Teams and SharePoint. You haven't accidentally switched over to the Hair Bear Bunch. Um, I know it may look like it, but we are here today to have a look at how we can link in document libraries from SharePoint into Microsoft Teams. This will bring in great ways of working with documents in Teams. Yes, we know we can work with files in Teams already from our Files tab, but what about if we wanted to work with files that are restricted? What about if we wanted to work with files that people have view only access? What about if we wanted to work with files where people can read them and look at them, but not actually make those amendments that we don't want them to make? Well, you can still do that within Microsoft Teams. We can link in these pre-existing document libraries and then people can interact and work with those document libraries and view those files however we want them to view them. So let's go on, let's take a look at how we do exactly just that. So here we are now in my Microsoft team and we're gonna have a look at then how we can link in these other document libraries into our team. We can see I'm in my finance department team here and I've got different channels for different areas of my finance department. If we go into my policies channel then, we can see I've got a tab at the top here for published policies. When I click into this, this is a space where I can have my policies within my team, but limit access to the people that can edit the documents within the here. This is a, a published policies area where we want people to go in and they can view these policies that have been published. We don't want people to edit the policies that are within here. And we can do exactly just that with using SharePoint. So if I go into my SharePoint here to view SharePoint of my team, if I just go to the home, then this is my SharePoint in the background of Microsoft Teams. As we know, when we create a team, it creates that SharePoint in the background. This is a fully working SharePoint that we can then add other things to. So if we look down the left hand side, we can see I've got my plan of plans, I've got published documents, published policies and so on. So I've got these different areas already that I've looked at within SharePoint. But something I can do is go to new and I can click on document library. If I click onto document library, then I can give this a, a name in here around what I want my document library to, to be called. I'm just gonna call this restricted documents. Oh, if I can actually type today, restricted documents. Could give it a bit of a name if I wanted to. And I'm just gonna highlight it to show it in that navigation so it's easy to access um, for this demo purpose. But maybe you want to hide this away and not have it in the site's navigation. So I'm gonna click on create. And now I've got this new created document library. As you can see, I've still got my normal tools of using the document library. But what I might want to do is restrict access to this. So clicking on my little cog and going into my library settings, I can go into here and I can actually change the permissions on this document library. If I click on permissions for this document library, then we can see here that members have edit access, owners have full control and visitors have read access. So I want to change this. So the first thing I need to do is stop inheriting permissions. It gives me the little warning saying it's gonna stop the, the inheritance in here. And now we can see I, I can customize my actual permissions. So my members here, I'm gonna to want to edit my permissions for my members and I'm going to change it so they only have read access, I'm not giving them edit access now to these documents. I can click on OK. And that means any member now of my um, overseeing SharePoint site, so the members of my team, because they get added to my SharePoint site, only have read access. The owners of the SharePoint site, so the owners of the team, now have full control, still the same. Um, they still have that edit access and so on um, of this document library. So I've got my document library um, of restricted documents here. I'm gonna copy the um, web address just in case I need it, because sometimes it doesn't always remember it. So I'm just copying that web address, gonna fly over to my team now, and I'm gonna show you how we add it into the team. So if I click on the plus symbol then at the top here, this allows me to add a tab to my team. If I click on that plus symbol, then you can see the different apps that I can add to my team. One of these being document library. So I can now connect to my document library that I have. So you can see here, the, the, the top here, I've got that finance department. So that's picked up my team name, the SharePoint site in the background associated with it. 
But if it wasn't shown up on my list, I could go use a link and, and paste that link in that I copied earlier and, and use that. So if I press go now, it's found my finance department. I'm gonna click on finance department and hit next. Then it's showing me all these different document libraries. The one I've just created is this restricted documents. I highlight this and, and tick, I don't want to post it to my channel um, for this uh, purpose, but maybe when you're doing this, you might want to alert everyone um, that you have created this, this extra tab in here. So we can post it to our team channel. Gonna hit next again, we can give it a name. So restricted documents, manage to type it this time. So we've got our restricted documents tab name. And if I hit save now, we've added in this restricted documents as a tab at the top that people can go into and open the documents, but not edit the documents. They can't upload documents, can't create new ones in this space, but my owners of my team can. Maybe I want to change the granular permissions on this and actually give certain users within my team more permissions than others. I can certainly still do that from that, that um, library settings that, that we went into in the permissions within there. Another way of doing it is actually linking it into our files area. So you may want to link it into files so people aren't using tabs and navigating away from the files. We can link it in to this files area here. To do just that, we've got this add cloud storage. Click on to add cloud storage. And you can see we've got lots of other different applications we can add in here. But the one I'm concentrating on today is SharePoint. Click on to SharePoint. Again, here's my finance department, um, SharePoint site in the background. Click on to next. And I've got my document libraries. I'm going to choose that restricted documents, press next, add folder. And now in my files, I've got finance department restricted documents. We can see that I've got that in here, click into it, and I'm navigating through my normal file structure here within Teams, not having to navigate away. But we also can have it linked as a tab as well if you'd prefer to keep the documents separate from this um, files area in our team. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do remember to give it that thumbs up, that little like button and subscribe to my channel below um, for any other Teams videos, get updates and so on of new videos that will be coming hopefully very shortly. Thank you very much everyone for joining in.